I'm a doctorate of social work candidate at the Tulane University School of Social Work. Uh, so my overall subject matter that I studied throughout the program was social work or burnout. And my manuscript titles, Reducing Social Work or Burnout During COVID. Burnout really is like the um, fatigue, sort of exhaustiveness that a social worker might experience from the challenges um, of their job, so to speak. Uh, throughout the program, I had my hand in a <laughs> little, um, several pots, I guess, but burnout was sort of throughout uh, the program. So I already um, was doing research on it. I was already writing papers about um, social worker burnout during my semesters. Um, personal experience, I've, ex I've experienced burnout. So it was just a <laughs> subject matter of interest to me. Um, so I already had some background information about it. I already had some um, research about it. It was intriguing to me. Um, so that's pretty much how I kind of collected um, <laughs> my work throughout the semesters. Uh, I think burnout or knowing and understanding burnout is really important uh, for social workers. I, I think a lot of times we as social workers, we don't realize that we're burnt out till we're already burnt out, which is what happened with me <laughs> previously in my own work. Um, I just, I couldn't really identify it or define what it was. I just know I was feeling a certain way. But by that point, I was already sort of at the burnt out <laughs> uh, end of the spectrum. So I just think knowing it and understanding it is really important for social workers so that we can recognize it first of all um, and manage any burnout or potential burnout before it's gotten to that point. So I think any more research about burnout is really important. Um, any more articles or um, data and whatnot about burnout I think is, is really important. So. Like I said, uh, personally, I had experienced it. So uh, it was an area of interest to me <laughs> to study more about and learn more about um, and write about. Uh, really my own um, uh, DSW staff, just because like I said, I was sort of already writing about burnout. Um, just as general assignments throughout my semesters. So the staff itself um, or my professors themselves would be good guides for me um, as I figured out what exactly I wanted to pinpoint about <laughs> work, work, or what to work on for my ACP. Um, really, I touched base a lot with Dr. Hansel when I was trying to narrow down what I wanted to do or what I wanted to write about. She was probably the main person I, I touched base with um, and just gave me some pointers, some guidance. Uh, so regarding community, I wrote um, a couple of different manuscripts about burnout, one social worker burnout and then another um, teacher burnout, but I collaborated with a classmate of mine that had um, the same area of interest. So we did a lot of um, collaboration on that, wrote um, and co-authored a couple of manuscripts. Like I said, one on social work burnout, one on teacher um, burnout. So it was really a lot of sort of combining our <laughs> um, resources, combining our references, combining our um, research. So it was really great to have another person, a classmate. Um, it was really great to have another person bounce ideas off of and help with the direction of what we were going to write our manuscripts about or how to write our manuscripts. It was good to have another um, 
point. <laughs> Uh, I think, well, one of the reasons why I wrote it, like I said, I think it's important to understand what social or uh, social worker burnout is and hopefully manage that sort of as a prevention, um, prevent burnout from happening <laughs> or recognize it while it's happening. Um, so the manuscript uh, incorporates um, interventions that social workers can do, particularly during the time of COVID, because um, that's a whole other added element <laughs> that can really press on, on or add to um, uh, a social worker's burnout. So I uh, try to focus that on some hopeful, hopefully some um, interventions that they can utilize, incorporate, um, and once again, just understand burnout and that term in general. Um, it was sort of the aim of um, my research. Uh, really just hope that there, like I said, there's more um, research done on burnout, maybe different types of burnout um, for our profession or social work profession. There's more research about that. There's more um, information about that. Um, hopefully some more interventions social workers can utilize uh, for burnout or for preventing um, burnout uh, and really not necessarily just social workers um, as well, but you know anybody could really feel burnt out. Um, it's not just defined by the social work profession. Um, so just in general, I think taking care of yourself and um, uh, you know doing different self-care um, activities is, is super important to everyone. Like I said, not just social workers, but everyone, um, every individual, our clients, families and whatnot. Um, so that was my overall hope for that <laughs> is just understanding burnout um, and really checking with yourself and utilizing um, self-care, whatever self-care means to you. So the job itself can be super challenging <laughs> uh, and super difficult. Um, there's a lot, you know, uh, involved with being a social worker. So that's why I think knowing and understanding and managing burnout is really important for our profession, because I think we're better social workers. I think we're better workers in general when we are actually taking care of ourselves. Um, you know, you really have to Put yourself as a priority as a social worker. Obviously, we're going to um, cater to our clients and do absolutely everything we can for them. Um, but first and foremost, you know, we need to make sure that we're taken care of as well so that we can actually perform our duties. A lot of times burnout can prevent a social worker or like impede a social worker's abilities because of exhaustion or um, you know, resentment or whatever, uh, whatever their burnout ends up looking like, um, trauma, whatever that is. So I think understanding burnout, particularly in this profession, um, is, is really beneficial. Um, you, I think you perform better, you're happier, um, you're a happier individual in general, if you're taking care of yourself. Um, and making sure that you're doing different self-care activities or whatever activities are gonna bring you enjoyment so that any exhaustion or resentment or whatnot doesn't seep into your work. Um, and then as a result, you know, seep into you performing your duties or um, working with clients or whatnot. So I think we're, we perform the best when we're taking care of ourselves the best that we can. Um, and then that way we're giving our clients um, our best too. So.